Alright guys, we are here for the race here from Texas Road. And uh we got Charles Sanford and Bob Jones on the front row. And a lot of these guys are looking for some good runs after a bad run at Talladega and the race before at Michigan. And these guys are looking to rev up their season and try to get it going in the right direction. So here we go, we're getting ready to go with Green Flag Racing here from Texas Road for 40 laps. We're going to be intense and, and crazy, so let's get it going. And we have a whole, we, we had the whole top 10 taken up by Chevrolet, so yeah. All right, here we go, boys and girls, here we go. Here at Texas Road, in John Sanford, the Valvoline, number five. He's going to get it going as he's side by side with Bob Jones in the corner here. And these guys are going to be going fast speeds around here. And it's definitely going to get a little insane. As we got a new driver in the 29 for RCR. And that is Sky Commons making the return back after his rookie season in season 6. And he is back here. He won at Pocono in his rookie season. And he's trying to get up here and win some more. But Preston Ford to the inside. They were three wide in the back. Here they go. Oh, it's three wide. Oh, we tried to Oh, the four wide back in the back there. They settled it out, though. Oh, there was contact back there. But I think we're still good. We're still good. There's the 14 through the middle. Dylan Pope, the Chris Dalton, and Dylan Young back up here making strides. As he has been on a roll the past couple weeks. And Jessica Shelton getting hanged up on the outside. Four wide Danny Wells. Charlie Rodriguez. And it is a, and it is mayhem up here at the front. Oh boy. There's still four wide. Oh brother. Oh they're four wide. They're four wide back there. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not. Oh they're still good. Oh they're still good somehow. Go back up to the front. Here comes Guy Thomas trying to get his first last lead of the season in the new car. And there he goes, right there in the Axalto, number 29. We're on lap four right now. Oh, Seth Cole's going to get put up high. Here comes John Harpo bringing a whole bunch of others. Oh, and they're four. Oh, they're four. Oh, that's a huge rack. We got a problem. Oh, so up, so up, so up. And I think these guys are all right. And coming to the line as the first caution is out. There are four wide back there in the seven. Or uh, Justin Tillampus is going to lead under the caution flag. As we will take a look at what brought the caution out here. We are on the caution for the first time here today at Texas World. Let us take a look at what happened. Uh, we started that up here. Yeah, these guys were going four wide all over the place. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't a bigger wreck than what it was. But there you go. The 20 went around. 78 was involved. As well, somebody else was spinning. Oh, that was Dylan Poti who was spinning. He can't catch a break the last couple weeks. Didn't see him. In, didn't see him involved at first. He got a piece of it right there. He went around. Joshua Collard involved as well. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, he, he spins it right there and keeps it going. Everybody keeps it going, though. No, no big problem. So, 12, 12 had to go down to the low side to avoid it. So, yeah. If you have not been with us the whole weekend, this pit road sucks. So, you see exactly what I'm talking about. They, well, look at that. I don't know what. I don't know what the 33. 33 just stopped. And there's a not oh the 90 almost got hit out of pit road. The nine I think has some damn. Uh, we'll check if anybody gets in trouble here. Oh yeah, somebody already got in trouble. Jake Rod, uh, no, um, Sky Common coming out of pit road, coming to his pit road. And there's a somebody. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, dear. What the fuck? 
Oh my god, these pit roads suck. <laughs> what in the world? What in the world? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if we're coming back to this track next season. This pit road sucks. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of good cars. But god damn it. It's fucking retarded. Oh my god. The 27th is sitting in the back of Jessica's car. What in the fuck? Okay, I don't know if anybody's going to retire from this. I don't think so, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this, re this pit road is retarded for some reason, so... Yeah, but... Yeah, we're about to get ready to go ready for our race, so yeah. Well, this track's good. The only thing that sucks is... But, uh, Joshua Collard... He got involved in the first rack again. Um, there was a lot of pit road incidents. Some guys actually stayed out. Some of these guys right here stayed well, out. Actually, I don't think anybody stayed out. I think everybody came down pit road. Oh, but here comes the 11, and it kept down the 15. And there's two cars out from that incident on um, the incidents on pit road, and that, those cars were. Seth Cole and the 29 of oh, Sky Towns in his first start back in the Dalton Cup Series. But anyway, we have to feel strung out a little bit. Oh, they are full out in the back, though. There's some wrecked cars back here in the 56 got damaged on pit road. Um, 55 got damaged on pit road as well. 33 did. 3 did. We gotta, gotta try to get back up together in the pack here. Oh boy. And the 99 is gonna be the inside. I believe by McIntyre. Right to the inside is Sean Harpo. But here comes the 66 and the 90 making moves to the bottom as well. Three wide. Oh boy, here we go. And there's two inside goes Daniel Williams bringing Chris Washer and the 15 of Pichu running with him. And right there to the bottom is the two hits of Kulama trying to get up in the pack as well. Dylan Young wasn't even really in the pack, but he, he got up here as well. And a few of these other guys trying to catch up to the pack as well, but they're coming up on live traffic, which is the three. And they're going to come up on them really fast. Oh, but shot by time there. Here comes Dylan Young to the inside. So, uh, Cody made the pack and a couple of the other guys in the back behind him made the pack as well. And three wide, they're gonna catch Zach Rogers here in the corner. Well, down the back straightaway. Oh, there's contact there. Here they come up on Zach Rogers. Oh, they're going way faster than he is. He's gonna slow up the bottom. Oh, but they're all going to try to get by him here. He's going to go high in the corner, which is good. Oh, but he doesn't want to go four wide. But he has gotten out of the way, which is good. But up near the front, the 39 is there. Here comes Dale Young, who's made a slingshot move. To the bottom, he's going to try to get to the bottom to go to the lead. Here comes Zachary Fitzwater. Zach Rogers is in the middle of the pack. I don't know what he is doing there, but he's just hanging on, I believe. To the draft, there's Trent Dunham up here as well. I don't know where he came from. And right behind Trent Dunham is Levi McIntyre. They're moving up the track. They're moving all over the racetrack right now. 
Are they about to catch anybody else? They might catch the 42 here in a minute. And anyway, Trent Dunham from the inside as well. And I'll tell you this man, every time he gets up to the front, he has a shot at winning the race. And Eric Brun Ian Dunham back up here and And he and Dunham started way in the back of this pack. He is starting in the front. No. Oh, this boy wide. This boy wide. Oh, this is gonna end bad. This is gonna end bad. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, they somehow made it. Oh, this something comes up in front of people. I didn't need it, but okay. I don't understand how they made it either. I think you guys might be coming down this time as well. No, anybody? Anybody? Yeah, the 11 is. They're doing poti. They fixed up his car a little bit. You're in 22nd position. See you guys that lost the pack on the restart. Hey, these guys pitting up here. Yes. I think no. Oh, they come up on the 31. Holy crap. He came up right in front of those guys. And Coming up on another slow part of 42. And they're halfway through this race. They got 20 laps to go. Doing young to the inside. About to catch up to that 42 as they are. They are going really fast right now. I don't know how much gas we got got. Don't catch the 42 about right there, but they'll get by him pretty easily. Benjamin Miles and a few of these other guys, they got damaged on pit road. They haven't even seen another caution really, so, which I'm surprised about. Up to this point. And there we go, we got some of the other guys coming down. Anybody else? So we got the one on pit road, the 56, just came down there. And Dylan Young is the leader right now. Well, no, oh, Sean Harper is never mind. It's Cody Lamas, he got a bit of damage to the, to the side of his car. Ninety nine in the pit road. Forty four has damage. Four has damage as well. A few of the guys that are off the page had damage on the pit road exchange. We just you know, I was having problems on pit road. Uh, 66 coming down. These other guys coming down just right now. And you see the other guys are getting ready to come off pit road. Oh, 47. And oh, we almost had a problem there. Oh, it's uh, 21 ran in the back. It's Dylan Young, I think it was. Might be ready to go, so we'll take a quick commercial break real fast. Yeah, Sean Alpha, and uh, we've only surprisingly had one caution in this race, the lowest of all the other series, which I'm very surprised about. Because you rarely get this, but um. Got Sean Henley out front and now Sean Harper, the rookie, and they take it to the inside. He won't get the lead uh, behind him. Is the one that Trent on him. And Trent's gonna slot into the second position. 
turn down on trying to go back to back. Wait a Oh, but they got this other pack passing up. So I wouldn't say that just yet. But they're about to catch the lap. Char cars again. Austin awesome. plant was up there in the front. I don't know what happened to him. He had some damage to the front. But, uh, you know, he's gonna let these guys go. Yeah. Oh, he almost came down there and turned down him. And then in the corner. We got more lap traffic up ahead. Cody has really had some problems as well. This race could drop him out of the top 10 in points. We didn't get it going here soon. I, I don't know what would really happen to him. He has not really had a stellar weekend here anyway. Not where he wants to be, but um, Trent Dunn and Sean Henry, two drivers in front right now. You know, to the end of this race, and this race has been pretty boring. So I will say that. That wasn't what I expected it to be. You guys pinned me down. What the hell is going on? The 21. 21 has been really holding people up all race. It's Daniel Day. I haven't really talked about him. He's in the, uh, he was in the 11th spot. Now 15, uh, 21. Really held him up there. Here's uh, Danny Wells. Uh, I thought he was up here. He's in the 27th position right now. But uh, the trace went by pretty fast. It's been really boring. So I won't say that much. Oh, but up at the front, it's getting a little bit testy up here. Oh. They're about to catch Cody Thomas here in a minute. Cody's not going to give up that easily, so. Oh, maybe he will, never mind. Yeah, he's going to give it up, he's going to give it up easily, and he's going to go right down. Oh, there you go. Cody has really been off pace at this track. He's actually not really done good at this point, so. And since his debut last season, so. We're not surprised he's not doing too good here. It's not one of his best tracks. So. Oh, but here comes Trent to the inside. Gonna make it three wide for the lead. And we got, we got a rush car. Oh, well, Cody's catching the gas. He's gonna try to do something now. <laughs> he's gonna try to race with the leaders now to get his lap back. He just let him go by, and then he's like, oh, we come up, we come up and try to race for the lead now. You know, I'm locked down. Oh, yeah, Trent wins his race. It's going to be two in a row for him. That's the second time in the season that the one, one car in particular has done that. The one car did that last season with Charles Sanford driving it. Sanford probably wishes he was driving it again, so because it is doing what it does and it wins, so and this race is almost over. Holy shit! What a boring race this was. I'm, I'm just gonna really say that right now. This race is boring as hell. So the pit road sucks, and this race is really bad. But, uh, anyway. Going through the field, see if anything happens, and nothing really happening. Trent Dunham going to the inside, that's about all that's going on.
that's gonna be interesting. They're coming up on oh boy, two last cards and one. Oh, they're about to go full wide with one of them. Oh, I don't know what Cody is doing. It's about to be Trent Dunn winning this race. It's about to be that just that just screws the other two. Comes Sean. Sean's trying to get back up here again. But Trent has really got this made right now. This would be two weeks in a row for him if he could do this. Oh, but here comes Sean Harper with a hell of a run on the inside. But I don't think he can get there. No, he can't. Here comes Sean. Oh, Sean. Sean's got to run. It's going to be side by side here. Oh, side by side to the line. It's Sean. Sean Henry got a hell of a run. I thought the 39 was going to go for it. But the 16 got a hell of a run off the back straightaway and cleared the 39. And then he just made a power move to get by Trent Dunham. And the photo finish there. Holy smokes. And Trent is a little probably not too happy about that. That he almost had that and lost it. But, um. Uh, yeah, and then take a look through the field. There you go. That's pretty much the best finish uh, field you guys got in the whole season. And I'm talking about Daniel Woods is one of them. Or the fifth spot. Preston Floyd probably another one of them. And, uh,. That's the second top 10 for uh, the 39 this season. Trent Dunham is posting. He has no, he has lost his race. He's just coasting the pit road. He's out of, looks like he's out of gas or something. But uh, he gave it all he had and he lost to Sean. So, Sean Henley is going to win his first race of the season. And another one with Ralph Finway racing, so uh, he has done his duties over there. So, top driver over there for sure. So, yeah. Taken out. Here we go, big one. At the end, they're not done. Danny Wallace is in it. This is gonna end the race. Sean Henley trying to hold on. Go, go down to the inside. It's not gonna be enough. Sean Henley's gonna do it. 
Sean coming off the corner. He's going to win the sprint on one of these. And he's going to win the dink on a 500. Half the last one race and he's going to do it.